Now, exchanges of fire on the Israel-Lebanon border are escalating. Israel launched an attack deep into Lebanon overnight, killing at least four civilians. Now, the Israeli military says the strikes hit two Hezbollah sites. In response, Hezbollah launched at least 100 rockets from southern Lebanon towards the occupied Golan Heights. Hezbollah and Israel have exchanged near-daily fire since Israel began its war on Gaza last October. However, those strikes have largely remained confined to the border regions. Zena Khoda joins us now from Baalbek in eastern Lebanon. Ed, what's the situation uh, like right now after that escalation across the border within the last 24 hours, Zena? Well, the situation is tense. As we are speaking to you, there are Israeli surveillance drones overhead. Uh, people are on the edge. In the past 24 hours, Israel carried out a series of strikes against what it says are Hezbollah targets in eastern Lebanon. We are 100 kilometers from the border, from where the nearly daily exchanges of fire have been taking place. One of those strikes hit this building, very close to the main highway that links the Lebanese capital, Beirut, to the Syrian capital, Damascus. Now, you speak to people here, they tell you that this was a civilian target. Uh, the Israeli army, in its statement, said that this was a command center belonging to Hezbollah. So, in the past 24 hours, a number of strikes in Baalbek. The area has been hit approximately two weeks ago for the first time during the ongoing confrontation. Strikes deeper into Lebanese territory are becoming more frequent. The rocket barrages launched from southern Lebanon at military positions in northern Israel are becoming more frequent. It's an escalation by Hezbollah, which opened a front to help relieve pressure on Gaza five months ago. On Tuesday, the armed group fired up to 100 rockets. Usually, many are intercepted by Israel's air defense system, the Iron Dome, and many fall in open areas. But there seems to be a message. They are escalating steadily. If you took the, the mark from the 15th of February last month, they are steadily escalating in terms of the quantity. Not, uh, they still did not use the longer range, more precision, like the Fateh 110 or the allegedly, if they have it, the Scott D. So these are more uh, heavier payload, uh, longer range, and uh, more precise. Israel doesn't appear to be deterred. It continues to carry out strikes against Hezbollah targets with no geographical limits. The latest hits were 100 kilometers from the border in Lebanon's eastern city of Baalbek. So far, Hezbollah's attacks have been within the unwritten rules of engagement, but some believe the group's capabilities are keeping Israel in check. They are not capable of uh, uh, confronting Hezbollah in an open war, uh, especially that they were not uh, capable of achieving any of their objectives against uh, the uh, Palestinian resistance, which is much weaker than the Lebanese resistance. Hezbollah Secretary General Hassan Nasrallah has held his first public meeting with a Hamas official since one of the movement's leaders, Saleh al aruri was assassinated in Beirut in January. He's warned the group's missiles can reach any point in Israel. This latest conflict between Israel and Hezbollah was triggered by the war on Gaza and is tied to its outcome. Hezbollah says it will not stop firing until there is a permanent ceasefire in Gaza and on condition that Israel stops attacks as well. But Israel is insisting on new security arrangements along the border. Up to now, Israel has been focusing on killing as many Hezbollah members possible, as well as weakening the group's operational capabilities. But Israel is still acting with some restraint with this confrontation, at least for now. Zana Khudr, Al Jazeera, Beirut. The tit-for-tat exchange of fire Teach is yourself. now in its fifth month. The conflict, no doubt, is on a slippery slope. But so far, this escalation has been largely controlled. Zena Khadr, therefore, in Baalbek, in Lebanon. Thank you.